Hi, I'm Eduardo Angel. Today we're gonna see how to use the color checker passport to create white balance using Lightroom 3, Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop CS5. The auto white balance setting often works well, but not always. Let's use this image I shot a few days ago as an example. I use the auto white balance settings on camera and the results are far from ideal. Thankfully, I use my color checker passport. You select develop, my eyedropper, select the neutral gray, and now the image looks the way it should. I'm gonna copy these settings and paste to one or endless images. Make a few exposure changes and the image looks great. How can we do the same in Bridge or Photoshop? We are in Bridge selecting the same three images we just saw in Lightroom. I'm gonna right click and open in Camera Raw. I'm gonna select the one image where I shot, thankfully, the color checker passport. And notice how it says white balance as shot. I'm gonna go to the top left and select all. From here, select my white balance tool or eyedropper. Click on my neutral gray the one that I would like to have as a final image, increase a little bit my exposure and click done. One of the many new features in Photoshop CS5 is the mini bridge, which is simply a window between Photoshop and the full version of Adobe Bridge, letting us quickly locate, preview and open files. In this case I'm gonna select the same three files we have been working on and open with default application which is Adobe Camera Raw. Same steps as before, I'm gonna select my image with the color checker passport, done. The thumbnails are updated in the mini bridge and I just simply need to open my image in Photoshop CS5 and continue working. And that's it! Now we know how to use the color checker passport in Lightroom 3, Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop CS5. Thank you! Visit my website eduardoangel.com Visit xrightphoto.com where you will find links to Facebook, Twitter, the xrightphoto blog and more information on xright color management solutions for photographers.